Letting go of toxic people does not mean you hate them. It means you care about your own well-being as well. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio clip, we get five smart ways to deal with toxic people. Enjoy. Here are my five ways to deal with toxic people. Number one, stop pretending you're okay with their behavior. Come on, we're all guilty of this one. If making plans to see or spend time with this person means plucking up courage and willpower, or practicing some self-defense moves, or staving off panic and dread, their behavior is not okay to be around. So first things first, admit to yourself right now that you can't stand the way they speak to you, the way they act make you feel or bring your energy and enthusiasm down whenever you share space together. It's true, so admit it to yourself now. This is the first step in putting in some boundaries and throwing yourself that much-needed lifeline. Number two, start speaking up. Now, this should come with a warning. Not because all hell is going to break loose. Not because things are going to get worse and not because they're going to physically hit you with their toxic stick, but because you may be in for a surprise at what will come out of your mouth. Many days, weeks or even years have been spent in the company of someone toxic. And if that's the case, it's probably left you with unsaid feedback and a range of unprocessed, unresolved feelings. And that's okay. How could you speak up before when there was no room? So just adopt some compassion for yourself and remember that whatever happened probably needs to happen. I like to have key phrases which allow me to speak up without inviting argument. Here's a favorite. I'm feeling really upbeat today, so I really don't want to talk about negative subjects. How about we talk about the great new job you have? The key thing here is that you're making known your feelings and presence and are placing as much importance on them as anyone else. You're also changing the subject. Nifty, eh? Try a few different ways to present yourself to them and see what happens. Okay? Number three, make a time boundary. If you really must spend time with the toxic person, usually the case with a family member on a special occasion, plan a shorter visit. You can't be blamed for not being there. Plus, you can balance it out with other just as important engagements in your own life. You don't need to say what you're doing either. Got it? And note If you don't need to see this person, consider taking a break of a few weeks or months. See how you feel not seeing them at all. And so not having them wet blanket your good times. And that's not mean, okay? That's part of your self-preservation. Number four, call a friend before and after. This is great for perspective. Before you see them, call a loving, supportive friend who understands and express your anxieties about the meeting. It'll remind you to stay connected and respectful of how you feel as you go along and you'll know that you have the support of non-toxic people whenever you need it. Finally, number five, remember that it's not about you. It's not you, it's me. Wrong. Yes, it is them. It can be easy to start feeling and as a result start acting like this is your problem. It's not. This toxic behavior and ill feeling is about them and them only. It doesn't reflect who you are, your values, nor does it need to inspire any further negativity in your life. As you learn to see them as 
toxic people they are, at least at this moment in time, you can detach from their behavior and no longer suffer for them, with them, or around them. Is it time to drop the toxic person altogether, you may ask? Well, it's probably one of the hardest things, letting go of those toxic people in our lives. But here's something that may help you to think about it. When we stay around these people and continue to enable their toxic behavior, we do them no good either. The drama keeps playing, the catastrophe always ready to implode, the negative bank balance untarnished. This is because, for reasons personal to them, the issue lies with them and with their outlook on life. When you delete toxic people from your environment, it becomes a lot easier to breathe. If the circumstances warrant it, leave these people behind and move on. Seriously, be strong and know when enough is enough. Letting go of toxic people doesn't mean you hate them or that you wish them harm. It simply means you care about your own well-being as well. Please keep in mind, This is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.